What's up guys, good morning. Grateful for another day. Regardless of what's going on with Mullen stock, let's talk a little bit about it. But we made it another day. I'm a little late today, it's almost 6 a.m. So market is almost open, but I wanted to share the latest news with you. Don't forget to drop a like, truly appreciate that. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. I have been consistently making Mullen content every single day. And I wanna give you the newest updates, give you my honest opinion on what's going on. But that new stock price is wild. We are over a dollar, finally but not the way we wanted it to happen. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, just giving you my honest opinion and telling you my game plan with Molin stock. Now, I will say this, if David and Molin company care at all about the shareholders, then they will have some massive news planned for this week or next week or the following week, in my opinion. If they don't have massive news planned, then that wouldn't be the greatest sign because they did just lay this reverse stock split on us. They dropped amazing news that earlier this week, a $63 million deal. Then they dropped news on that they're starting production in July. And then they hit us with the reverse stock split literally the next day, or I think it was the same day. It was yesterday, the same day, later news, right in the middle of the day, right? We were going up or up 8%. They dropped the reverse stock split news and boom, just crashed us down. So now we have a new stock price. And right now, I'm actually pulling up the charts. It's crazy because I got to change everything on here because we're not in the sense anymore. But right now we're trading at $1.58. So technically yesterday we closed at $1.60 after split price. We got to see what happens from here, right? But let's go over the latest news. They put out some new pricing. So I think this is positive news, you know, tax credits, things like that. Molin is moving in the right direction as a company and hopefully to get more deals here soon that they can share with us. I'm really hoping we get some type of government contract, military contract, because that's the news that will make this stock price be priced where I believe it deserves to be priced at. More production news, like get more specific. If anyone from Mullen is watching, get more specific on your production news and when you're starting production, literally down to the date. I think that would help. So Mullen Automotive updated everyone on their pricing for their vehicles. Now, this is the thing that I was very bullish on is the class one vehicles. They've been getting deals with Randy Marion. They delivered to UNC. Uh, it's going to tell you a little bit about this in this article, but really quick, just to give you a breakdown, we can see that the class one van is going for 34,500 and the class three vehicle is going for 68,500. 19 EV cargo vans have been delivered to date with additional 20 deliveries targeted in May 2023, purchase order for 200 class one EV vans anticipated in May 2023. So an additional 20 delivers targeted for this month. Now 20 deliveries isn't a whole lot, but it is actually pretty positive when you think about Mullen Company just getting started with their production news, with their deals they've been making. Like we're not at Tesla's level yet, we're not at Ford's level yet, but this company is actually putting out good news, which makes me stay optimistic. Yeah, the stock price isn't the greatest. We're actually, tr we're trading flat right now. So today's gonna be a very interesting day. We gotta see what happens. But, but again, we need really good news, like better news than this for this stock price to really get up to where I believe it needs to get to. And then again, we have the thousand unit purchase order valued at 63 million for class three EV trucks from Randy Marion Automotive Group. Okay. It was announced on May 2nd. Deliveries begin in August, 2023 and final delivery is completed by quarter one of 2024. So again, the question you got to ask yourself is, one, do you think Mullen will go into production? And two, do you think Mullen will deliver on what they're saying they're gonna deliver on? Me, I do believe this because they've been delivering on Randy Marion. They literally just delivered vans to UNC. They're stating they're gonna get into production in July. I don't think they've really lied about anything in the last couple months. Now, the only negative thing is they dropped the reverse stock split on everyone. But if I'm looking at anything positive in that situation, they did it after they showed everyone what, they, what they've done, what they plan to do, and said, stick with us, basically. So this is the biggest thing, tax credits. So 34500 but you get a $7,500 tax credit. So really, the cost is about 27000 That's not bad when you think of an all-electric vehicle. And remember, the Randy Marion guy said most businesses are going to have to go electric, and there's no one else really competing with the Class 1 vehicles with Mullen Company. So I think this could be very good for Mullen Company. 
And then you have the class three, $68,500, $7,500 tax credit. So it's really 61,000 after tax credit. Short video, see you on the next one.